What's up, everyone? It's Karthik with MoneyVest. So markets here continue to take a bit of a slide as we are seeing the QQQs down a little bit over half a percent, although recovering really nicely. They were down over 1% at some point. I did send out alerts today, so I have now started dollar cost averaging and buying a little bit more aggressively. And these are still within my nibble ranges. So I essentially shared a full 20 minute video with all the members with my 37 stock shopping list. So, if you want to get access to this entire video, which is again members only, and the last time I actually posted a video like this was back on April 19th. So, this right here was the previous video that I posted, which was 30 stocks. And uh, this was again posted on April 19th, as you can see. And that was pretty much the low for the market. So, if you come over to the NASDAQ, you'll notice that this right here was quite literally, I cannot make this stuff up, that this was the um, April 19th, April 20th low. So, you can see Friday, April 19th, April 20th, this right here was the bottom for the market before finally rallying a little bit over, I think, 20%. The NASDAQ has rallied since then, over 21, 22%. Uh, and the S&P 500 also went through the same exact situation where this right here was the April 19th, April 20th low, uh, where we kind of bottomed out and then saw a very nice recovery of 14 to 15%. And the Money Vest Index was also at a really low level, close to three over here before pushing higher back up to over four. So this right here is the brand new video posted today. And I also sent out all the alerts on April 20th, as you can see that this right here is the date uh, and the timestamp of all the alerts sent out for VUG, SMH, Apple, Tesla, uh, and also all the entire list of different stocks with my nibble buy light buys, heavy buys, and no-brainer buy targets, as well as my fair value also shared with all the members. And that's exactly what I do in this video as well. Uh, also going over the screenshots um, shared with all the members on Patreon to go over uh, what are going to be some of those levels. And the reason why this is so important, because it, this gets me excited uh, and it should get excited. Uh, it should get you excited as well, because we don't get these opportunities very often, as I've mentioned before, as volatility here trading pretty much at over 18 to 20 levels. Uh, we're once again back to the same level as where we were back in April 18th and 20th. And prior to that, we were back in October of 23, which once again, if you come back here, this was October of 2023, when this money vest index was down to 2.4. This right here was down to three. Now, I don't consider this as a level where this is like super aggressive dollar cost averaging or buying, but uh, it does, you know, get us started, right? That's the whole point. It's it, This is not a level where uh, it's time for us to go absolutely crazy and start deploying like crazy amounts of cash, but it is a starting point. And as this number continues to, let's say, come down to three or potentially even down to 2.4 or two, that's when we're going to be even more aggressive uh, with dollar cost averaging and being more uh, excited about buying opportunities in the market. But this is just a starting point, in my opinion. I think the volatility is going to continue because of the very fact that we're still within the context of a short term downtrend. So if I come over to the 30 minute time frame, what you'll notice is that the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq pretty much are both in a very nice downtrend. So lower lows, lower lows, lower lows. This right here, lower highs, lower highs, uh, and potentially lower high here. And if you do see a bit of a rebound, which is possible, we're still within the context of a bit of a downtrend. And same thing is true for the NASDAQ QQQs as well. As you can see over here, uh, this right here is going to be the lower lows, lower lows, and lower lows, which if you compare this to the previous higher lows, we are already now trading below that previous low. And this right here, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. And there could be a potentially lower high over here as well. So yes, there is a possibility for a bit of a bounce from these levels, but we would still be within the context of this downtrending channel. Uh, same for both QQQs and for SPX as well. As you can see that this right here would be the potentially downtrending channel. Uh, for S&P 500. So bottom line is that we got to get ready and uh, I am starting to deploy cash into the market. And if you come over to the daily time frame, the daily chart, uh, again, you'll notice that we have marked out some of the key levels and the next level for the S&P is going to be sitting roughly at around 5260 down to as low as sub 5000 for the S&P. And of course, the Nasdaq, we're going to be watching closer to 16.5. Uh, down to as low as 15,200. So the NASDAQ is in a pullback uh, down over 8%, very close to a correction. In fact, it actually dipped uh, almost 9% down. So the NASDAQ was at one point very, very close to a correction, uh, which is down over 10%. And the S&P 500 from its all-time highs at one point was down almost 5%. So it did almost touch its pullback 
territory and then bounced right back up and it's now starting to move a little bit back towards the positive territory so there's going to be some buyers stepping in because they're going to start smelling some blood in the water and that is a signal for investors to jump back into the market and start looking for deals uh, and that's exactly what's taking place in my opinion right now as you can see that magnificent seven a, a more a uh, nice sort of uh, index or uh, ETF is going to be FNGU. That's part of the shopping list here. And you'll notice that it actually came down to 357 and then recovered well over 7.9, almost 8% intraday right now it's almost back up to positive territory but it's still down quite considerably from its all-time highs uh, of well over 560 dollars down over 31 percent so very very important level of support in roughly at 343 down to as low as 253 dollars so there is going to be a lot of volatility for this particular etf as well same with soxl same with the upro you'll notice that all of them are getting bought up here intraday and tqq with a very long wake to the downside as well so VIX is moving higher, starting to kind of, once again, trade back up to 18 to 20. Money Vest Index down to three. Uh, shared all the entire updates and all the stocks for all the members. So you can take advantage because time is quite literally money right now. Uh, the sooner you take advantage, the better I think it's going to be. And Tesla here recovering very nicely, a little bit up almost 4%, validating some of those support levels um, at the moment for Tesla as well. So yeah, just wanted to give a quick update to all of you. We're starting to see some buyers stepping in uh, at the moment, but don't mistake this for... Uh, uh, the idea for us to recover back to all-time highs, uh, we're still off by 5 to 8% from all-time highs for S&P, NASDAQ, respectively. I think this is only the beginning, and if the prices continue to come down, then be it. That's going to be better for us so that we can dollar-cost average into the markets a little bit more aggressively and start buying heavily so that we can take advantage of that recovery back up eventually, which will happen, in my opinion. So hope you all enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, make sure that you drop a like, and again, uh, Check out the links below if you want to get access to the entire MoneyVest platform as well as the 37 stock shopping list that I posted a uh, members only video uh, today. Link's going to be down below. We'd we'll love to have you on board. And uh, don't, either way, whether you join or don't join, don't let this opportunity slide. Take advantage because it doesn't uh, come very often. So as always, happy investing. I'll see you all in the next video.